This is the Sorite, and I found out about this when I was having constant soreness and tightness in my hamstrings. And let me explain how it works. So when you run, one of the most important muscles, probably the most important muscle that powers the movement is your, your glutes, your butt muscle. But if your glutes aren't activating, if they're not firing properly, your body's gonna look for other muscles to compensate to power the running stroke. And that's where it looks to the hamstring and it looks to the calf. So if you're finding you have a lot of soreness in these areas a lot, it could be a symptom of a larger problem, which is your glut, your glute, the muscle that should be powering the motion isn't firing. And to give you an example of what this looks like is, if you stand like this, and instead of standing normal, kind of accentuate sticking out your butt and arching your lower back here. And if you go like this and you try to squeeze your butt cheeks, you're gonna find that you can't do it. But if you tilt your pelvis back to a neutral position where it's underneath your shoulders, and then squeeze your butt cheeks, you're gonna be able to do it. And what this shows is that in order for your glutes to fire, your pelvis has to be aligned properly. It can't be tilted front or back. And the tilt of your pelvis is controlled by two important muscles, your lower back muscles and your muscle in the front here that runs kind of from your rib cage down to you know, your quads, called your psoas. And if those muscles become tight, and it happens, it happens over time, it happens as we age, it happens with constant use, like muscles just get tight. If these things get tight, they're gonna control the tilt of the pelvis and they're gonna make it not, it's gonna, it won't be sitting neutral, it's gonna be tilted. And when it's tilted away from neutral, it's gonna become harder and harder for your glutes to activate. And so the purpose of something like the Sorite is that it specifically targets these muscles that we hardly ever think about that are controlling the tilt of the pelvis and are preventing our glutes from activating. So I'm gonna get on the ground and show you another exercise that you can do to help determine whether or not your glutes are firing correctly. Okay, this one's a lot of fun. What I want you to do is to lay down on your belly like this. And you kind of stick your hands in front of you. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your leg and as you lift your leg, I want you to put your hand on your butt muscle and I want you to tell me what you feel. So you're gonna be down here like this and you're gonna lift your leg straight up and you kinda of wanna just feel what's happening in your butt. And what you might notice is, this was the case with me when I first started, is that um, I wasn't getting a lot of contraction in the butt muscle. Instead, what was happening is where you feel when you lift your leg, if your glute is not activating, you're gonna feel the hamstring really activate. And if you feel like you're getting a lot of activation in the hamstring, that means that your glute isn't activating because this, mo this motion here should really be powered by the glute muscle. And this is a really good simulation what happens when you're running. So give that a shot. If you feel like your hamstrings are doing a lot of work, what's probably happening is that your glutes aren't activating and there's something that's causing your pelvis to be tilted to not activate your glutes. So if that's the case, let me now show you why the so right can help. Okay, so here is the so right, and it has this weird thermoform plastic look to it. And the reason why is that, remember when I was telling you that the psoas is the muscle that runs sort of here? This is designed to kind of target both sides of that muscle. And what you're gonna do is, and, and, the, and the reason why you're doing this is that if the psoas is tight, it's controlling the tilt of your pelvis and it's gonna be pulling it in a direction that isn't neutral underneath you. And that's causing your glutes not to fire. And so just like you might do foam rolling or get on a lacrosse ball when you have a knot and you wanna just release that tension, that's what the psoas is doing. It's designed to sit right on those muscles, to find the tightness for you just to sit and to have that self-release. And as you do that, and the more you do that, when you do that before you run, you're going to loosen up your psoas and your lower back muscle. I'll show you that as well. And it's gonna allow your pelvis to naturally sit in the right location 
and your glutes are going to fire a lot, a lot better. And you're going to notice that your hamstrings and your calves aren't going to be as sore anymore because they're not doing the work that they shouldn't be doing. All right, so with the psoas, you put it down. And there's probably a ton of ways. This is how I do it. And you just you sit on it. And I start kind of right above the hip bone. And I just, I just sit. And it's targeting, it's sitting right on those two psoas muscles on the left and right side. And I'll sit there for 30 seconds. If I find a spot that's kind of tight, I might kind of shift, put a little bit of pressure on it, sit there a little bit longer until you just feel it naturally release. And you'll feel it because a lot of you have done these things before. And then you just sort of kind of keep working up. Same thing, find a spot, sit, sit there for 30 seconds, maybe longer. And just kind of keep working up all the way until you get the rib cage. And so that's how you're gonna use this device. Um, if it's hard for you to do it both at the same time, you can do one side at a time, right? So take one side and just kind of work that muscle. Just look for those tight spots, sit there and kind of go on there. Same thing, you can do the lower back. So you put it here like this, you're gonna go down, kind of find those lower back muscles and then just sit there. And it's just a self-relief exercise. And when you find tightness, and in the beginning, you're probably gonna find tightness if your glutes are tight. You just kind of sit there, relax, and let it just slowly loosen up and release. And when you're done doing this, what you should do is go back and do this test again where you lay down and raise your leg and see where you feel the activation now. Is it as much in your hamstring or is your glute activating more? So simple tool that um, is manufactured by the company called So Right. Check it out. If your hamstrings are sore and tight from running, they shouldn't be. Something's happening and it is most likely a symptom of a larger problem, which is your glutes aren't activating which is a symptom of a larger problem, which is your pelvis is tilted in a way that's not allowing your glutes to activate. And that could be, most likely, is due to tightness either in your psoas or your lower back muscle. And a simple self-massage release like this um, is gonna save you so much pain, so much energy, so much anxiety. The solution can be very simple. Um, and that's how you can address it. Hopefully this is helpful to all of you guys.